Hello everyone, this is Kathleen and I'm here with the beginning of my uh, May design tea project for Stacy's Stories on Etsy. Um, I know I'm kind of late getting started this month, but I say that every month, but I'm ready to do it and I am so thrilled with the the kit that I chose to use this month, it's called Vintage Woodland Wonder, and I have been really amazed and looking at it for a long time because of this, this um, print, and I just think it's so pretty, but what I didn't know, what I couldn't know until I got the kit and printed it out is there's a little uh, fly fisherman down here on the river and I'm just I'm so thrilled with that that I'm going to do two two books um and these are going to be the covers one and two one is going to be a more general um like vintage woodland sportsman it's kind of like a uh well I think it's kind of masculine it doesn't have to be masculine if you put some feminine touches but it is very masculine in my view and very sportsman kind of related in in some ways um there's this picture of the fisherman and then there is a picture of a fox hunt in the kit that's also pretty pretty fabulous um if you don't mind fox hunting and um anyway several it, it's just a great kit i'm really excited about using it so i i am gonna do two books because um, one I want to kind of focus on fishing and the other is going to be less focused on fishing and more focused on just you know adventure vintage adventure in the backwoods so thanks so much Stacy and you'll see me kind of I think work in the, these two books um, as well as in this book and I have also um, I have signatures prepared for another book um, that's kind of vintage. I'm going for kind of a 30s look, and um, I have to build a cover for these, and I'm going to cover it with fabric, so I will film that too when I get done with this. Um, yeah, so let me get started. We're going to begin with the covers, and I am going to use two, let me put these out of the way because this is going to get messy. I'm going to use two recycled book covers. I have the the Tyvek on the spine but I haven't um, done anything else on the inside. Um, but I want to do I want to do some mixed media painting on this. Um, we're going to start with this one and what we're going to do is we're going to do a subtractive glaze on this one and then on this one we're going to put an add a splotchy add add addition uh, glaze but glaze is it's um, this is called golden acrylic glazing liquid you can add this to paint to acrylic paint and it makes it trans, trans, more translucent. <coughs> it also extends the drying time, so you can smush the paint and move it around uh, without it sticking quite so much, and it, it stays wet longer. And you don't need very much color. Um, so what I'm going to do is <coughs> my mom taught me a long time ago how to do rag rolling um, on furniture. She used to do a lot of um, painting on furniture. Anyway, you, you put the paint on and then you roll it off with a rag. And um, she also taught me about sponging, which is what I'm going to do to add the paint to the other cover. Um, but let me just show you how I'm going to do this. I've got some small bowls here that I'm going to use for my palette. 
going to put some medium in. Okay, you can't see that very well, but it's probably about a tablespoon. And then we're going to go lighter, and then we're going to paint it on, and then we're going to remove it. So I'm going to add just a little bit of color. Not very much. It's about um, 1 to 10 ratio, 10 parts of the acrylic, the glazing medium, and one part of the acrylic color. So now we're just going to stir that in, and, and then we're going to put it on, and then take it off with a rag, and... Let me put that. I've got my here. We'll put those up there. Okay, here we go. Now this is always interesting because it's mixed media, and as I say, you know, with mixed media, you just have to be happy with what you get. You just you never know what you're gonna get, and I'm just gonna be happy with what what happens here. It's really easy, you know, once once you get going. So the glazing medium, if you think of it like a stain, that's kind of what like what this is. It's it's like the the color goes on like a stain and then it it comes off in the same way. I think it's probably the same kind of stuff they put in stain to make it, you know, lift off. Okay, so now there's the color on. And now we're just going to take a napkin and we're just going to kind of loosely crumple it and then we're going to do that. <laughs> Not sure what you call it, but pounce on it and, and that's going to make wrinkles. And so that the bottom color will show through. Okay, I can see some brush strokes over here, which I don't want. So I'm going to try to interrupt those. Okay. All right. So that's that. And... Now you can see that this, this is going to be this one. Oh, it's this one. That's going to just make that look so much more interesting, right? All right. Now, um, looks like I've got a spot over here too that I've got to fix. Okay. Now once, once you're happy with it, then you can... Whoops. Then you can just set it aside to dry. And I possibly will come back. I don't know. We'll see. You can see that the matte medium is kind of shiny. Yeah, it dries um, with kind of a a shine to it so if you don't like that then I would paint it with matte gel medium um, afterwards after it's dry to take the, sh the shine down but right now I don't mind that so that's good okay I'm going to put this aside to dry now we're going to do the addition um, which I'm going to do with some plastic wrap. You just take some plastic wrap, a piece for each of the colors, you know, that you might want to add. And, and then we'll do this again. Put some of the glazing liquid in there. Again, about a tablespoon. And 
Now this time I'm going to use the paint and just do some layers. So um, I'm going to start with the bottom layer paint and then we will change the color as we go up. So I think I want to do this green again. Okay, now I'm just going to take this wad of plastic wrap and dip it in there. And then just start pouncing on this one. Now, acrylic usually dries quite fast, but if you put this glazing medium in, it's, it takes, it ends up taking a long time to dry. So, you know, don't, just remember that, you know, when you want to, if you're in a hurry, this is not what you want to do. Now I'm going to try to get kind of in that channel. thing also if you I don't know what I'm going to do to the insides but if you want you might need to be careful and protect the insides if you want it to stay okay now I like that so now I want I think I'm going to do a little bit of brown now I think I'll do the blue next I had I couldn't decide whether to do blue or gray but I found kind of a, a bluish gray in my stash and so I think we're gonna use that next it's pretty gray but it's also got some blue Okay, now I'm just going to re-smash my paint. So if you don't like blobs, then you can, you know, pounce it off onto something before you put it down. And sometimes it takes, you just need to, you know, build up the layers. Um, I want to try to cover up that old title. So, okay, now we've got the blue on. I think we'll do this lighter green. Actually, that should be the, like the last thing you do. And it looks like I've got some. Clean that off. And I think, let's put a little bit of brown in before we go to the the light and I just want you know just some brown I don't I don't want a lot so I'm gonna pounce it off over here first
it's almost an orangey brown, which is good. I want, I would rather have it warm. Okay, good. Now, I think I want just a tiny bit of gold. So we're going to use just a little, little bit of gold. I don't want it to look like autumn, you know, but, but I do. I do want a little bit of that color, I think, in there. Just here and there. Okay, that's looking good, I think. Let me make sure I get... Try to get in that um, crease. It's kind of hard. And don't forget the edges because sometimes it ends up looking like they were forgotten. So we'll just put some over the edge. Okay. Oh, I like it. Oh, I think that looks really cool. All right. So, and that's going to go there on the front. I like it. All right. So that's, let me wipe my hands, hands off. And I'll show you the other one. So here's just, you know, the kind of plain one. This is going to be for the fishing. And then here is the backwoods one. Yeah. Like it. Okay. Thanks so much for being with me. That was pretty easy. And I'm going to go ahead and play around while I've got the paints out. I'm going to do a steampunk cover and um, possibly two steampunk covers because I need to get some more um, steampunk ones made as well. So, hey, thanks for spending time and we'll see you again with the next step.